It was a kind of a mini renaissance in the period of the 60s to the 80s. It had been a sort of a cultural growth, a change, a very positive time in the West in general, I think. There was tremendous growths in things like music and art and filmmaking and the arts flourished. I mean, Ireland is full of opportunity. It's a blessed paradise. Not every country has this possibility. We are wealthy because we have water. We are a biological gem. We have clean air. These are the resources of the future. For me, it only became unbearably impossible in 2020. It just became so clear that, that this was completely bogus. They just went too far. This is like misleading people to such an extent that is now actually, for a lot of people, has proved fatal. People have died because of it. It's not a small thing. COVID really was a compliance test and to see how much they could get away with stuff when people don't engage their own brains. So now I think they're just going, we can say anything, we can do anything. And they're just going to go along with it because these guys are fast asleep. It's part of the demoralization program as well, is to say, we don't care that you even notice. Okay, we're not actually dealing with people who are like us. In fact, they'd actually get some kicks out of watching you squirm, out of watching you in trouble. These people have lived in this country for generations and generations, and their parents, their grandparents, their great-grandparents, they had nothing. I saw it. And they worked themselves into the fucking grave, believing that they were leaving something of value for their children, for their grandchildren, and that is the Irish inheritance. And to point that out has become almost radical, and it shouldn't be, it's common sense. These people who were left a beautiful country, a safe country, now feel that that's in danger because of government policy, or should I say because of EU policy, because at this stage, Irish government are not running this country. I have a problem with transgenderism to the extent of it being considered associated with me. So LGBT, no hold on, we'll just take the T and put that to one side. To be a woman isn't just about your hairstyle and how you change your face and getting fake breasts and makeup and wearing a dress, that's not being a woman. Being a woman is a holistic thing in exactly the same way that being a man is a holistic thing. There's a lot of people in this country who have a spirit that's beyond manipulation. It's beyond the ability for these forces to control. The cancel culture, it's a sickness and it's taking the funniness out. It needs to be cleansed, that cancer. I'm offended, stop looking at comedy. Stop looking at comedy, you're gonna be offended. If it's funny, you're gonna start crying again. If you wanna have a non-offensive comedy club, have it, but don't try and take other people's ability to connect, to laugh, to play. We've been told that men are protectors, but in order to protect something, you have to first care about it. If you're just there to protect, within your testosterone it boosts up and then you've no place for oxytocin and for bonding. When we are in survival, we aren't reflecting. When we are kept in fear, part of our brain isn't functioning properly. When we are having to exert so much of ourselves to make an income, to survive, to whatever it is, we're not getting the chance to think deeply. Trauma goes way past our systems and into our ancestry now as well. They're now changing neighborhoods deliberately and they're using immigrants as pawns and they don't care what happens. They're following the orders given to them by their leaders. Whatever is done to the working class, you can be sure that's the agenda because they hit them first. Immigration policy of all things requires sensitivity and that's why the brutishness of it is so abhorrent. We need to be able to question that brutishness without being called racists. That's our way forward, that cultural folk soul that will be trampled. Get out of the feckin' black and white, I'm pro-immigration, I'm anti-immigration, I'm pro-abortion, I'm anti-abortion. Let's get some nuance here, people, like, you know, a bit of subtle thinking. How could you fail this test for the doctors? Why did you not give informed consent? You know, the very basics. And why ignore now these excess debts? So I would say all trust, for me at least, is gone, broken. This is criminality of a kind that is so pronounced and so real that it's just about the worst thing that ever happened in lots of ways. There's serious consequences from this. We have a gargantuan task to keep going, but that's all we need to do. We don't need to have a plan because you can't plan this. We had no way of knowing how this was going to go. We have to stay the course. Always go back. Don't think the battle is over. Don't think your trial is ended. Your trial is never ended.